Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm an ophthalmologist at Austin Eye in Austin, Texas. I'm going to demonstrate use of the Lens X Fento second laser on a very dark, brunescent, what I call root beer cataract. Uh, the patient's 87 years old and has what I would describe as 4 plus nuclear sclerosis, which limits any view of the retina. Here we proceed directly to the Lens X laser and uh, we are designing a 4.5 millimeter capsulotomy and a 6 millimeter chop pattern. This patient's pupil did not dilate very well so we had to adjust on the fly the lens chop diameter. We reduced it to about 4.3 millimeters. We're dividing the lens into six pieces. And this, to date, was the most brunescent lens that I had used the LensX laser on. Here I'm adjusting the capsulotomy, and then we image the lens itself, and you can see the lens thickness is over five, over five millimeters. Uh, our usual lens thickness is in the three millimeter range. So this lens was 60 percent. Uh, bigger than average and you can see the crowding of the angle that uh, resulted from the increased lens mass. So we proceeded with the capsulotomy and thankfully the pupil remained dilated beyond the 4.5 millimeter zone so our capsulotomy was completed uneventfully. And you can see the LensX laser is able to easily penetrate the brunescent lens. We get a good bubble layer between the posterior capsule and the nucleus. This is using the version 2.16 software of the LensX laser. For the sake of time, the fake emulsification procedure was not uh, shown in this video. This is just to demonstrate the fact that we can use the LensX in a very brunescent root beer type cataract without difficulty. Thank you for your time and attention.